So it's a quick tutorial from Jack at Visual Effects Hut. How to use Surface Imperfection. So we've got a library ourselves and there's plenty out there on the internet. So here we've got one of ours, which is just this texture to put on top of the wood to break it up a little bit. So people get confused where to put surface imperfections but depending on your surfaces and depending on what sort of look you want to go for it can literally be put on any of these. So um, bumps a good one, roughness is probably the most popular and then you've got metallic as well and you can mix and match and put the same texture on all a few to see what kind of looks you get. So got a standard material but with a uh, surface imperfection map imported as well and let's just see what happens when we just put this on top of the roughness so instantly you can see here we've got extra details that you just wouldn't get so if we just store this as a render buffer and then turn it off so we've got no roughness map but then with the surface imperfection, bang it on and we get this. Um, weirdly, sometimes even with wood, if you set this to metallic, you get a cool different vibe as well. So you get this like different variation on the wood color. You do have to be careful because it does look like the wood's got shinier as well because of this. So balancing the levels with the colour correction node would solve this. Um, but you can use two, so you've got both. Now it looks a bit patchy. Right, so we do need something on that roughness as mentioned just. So we just go to our image texture, find a fingerprint. So we're going to have to get that from Quixel. So I just type in fingerprint. We want, I suppose this one's the most obvious. And we'll download the fingerprints. Brilliant. Right, so we need to just drop that on the roughness and then see what we've got. So obviously it's out of scale. So you can change that by using the transform. This is a dirty glass. And it could be as quickly as using a gamma rather than putting um, a colour correction node on. Obviously, obviously this is a crazy texture as well and it's all over it nobody would have a glass that dirty but hopefully you get the idea. Then pushing this one step further would be like say if you had a superhero that picked up a glass and melted his fingers into it. You could put this in as a bump map as well so it like melts into the glass. This is also good to make, sometimes to make it more obvious if the object's far away and you kind of want to show that it's a really dirty object. And again, if it is too crazy, you can use a mix node. Put that in texture one. And then you can just use this to make it less severe or massive, less or massively severe. So hopefully you found that useful and I will catch you on the next one.